SpaceX says it's ready to test SAT to phone system with T-Mobile. Okay. All right, that's cool. Ready for this. I know a lot of people have been clamoring for this. They want to know more about SpaceX and Starlink and T-Mobile and whatnot. Okay. SpaceX has told the FCC in a recent filing it's excited to begin testing direct-to-cellular satellite phone systems with T-Mobile and the National Science Foundation ahead of a commercial launch next year. All right, now, look, before you go and launch anything like this, this is big. And the FCC wants to see studies. They want to see the experiments. They want to see proof there's no interference and no issues being introduced into the systems. So you got to show them proof. SpaceX representatives met with the FCC staff last week to discuss the pending applications and review its responses to the staff's technical questions. SpaceX explained how its innovative antenna and topology software can dynamically avoid causing harmful interference to in-band, out-of-band, and cross-border users. Right? It's all about avoiding the interference. You don't want to ruin the connections of others, overstepping your boundaries. It's like... You know, you got all these different bands that are operating. You don't want to step on anybody's toes. SpaceX said it had carefully designed its direct to cellular system to provide the best possible service while protecting other operational spectrum users from harmful interference. Others aren't so sure. Uh-oh. Ooh. Somebody's got some pushback. There is some question of SpaceX causing interference, according to Link Global CEO. They have not proven they can do this without causing interference, and they are asking for an STA, STA stands for Special Temporary Authority. You get granted that for operations, uh, which is causing concern on the part of Spectrum users in adjacent bands. Remember, these bands are next to each other, near each other, and they're the ones that are most at risk for the interference. So they have to show the interference will not happen in real world use. AT&T argues that SpaceX should not be allowed to use the PCS G block. If I remember correctly, I think I think that's old Sprint Spectrum, I think. And I'm not sure if they're doing like a 5 or a 10 megahertz block at T-Mobile, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, they're doing it through an STA, says the proper venue is through an experimental license from the Office of Engineering and Technology, which is the same process that authorized similar testing for Link Global and AT&T's partner, AST Space Mobile. And I think they did their testing either earlier this year or late last year. Okay, uh, so AT&T told the commission that although nascent supplemental coverage from space technology shows promise, it must be treated as a supplement, not a substitute to terrestrial wireless service. I have to agree. I know a lot of people are excited about this, but guys... It's never going to replace terrestrial coverage. This is when you don't have terrestrial coverage and you can get some calling and messaging. You know, they just, they can't create another capacity through five or 10 megahertz blocks of PCS. Qualcomm terminated an agreement with Iridium to bring satellite connectivity to Android. Oh man, that's terrible. Financial muscle. What is this about here? Open standard 3GPP-based solutions have much better prospects than proprietary ones. I agree. If you're going to do SAT, you might as well hit the 3GPP RHEL 17 standards. I think, um, I think that's as far along as they are in implementation. All right, so here's what's going to be happening, guys. You're going to be seeing testing. You're going to be seeing experimental results and feedback getting to the FCC. They then, you know, grant special authorities and give clearance and then everybody's all harmonious and okay, good, no interference. So how far are we from a T-Mobile network that actually has access through satellites? How far are we? We're probably a year away. I told you guys last year, you know, they tried to get you guys amped up, right? They tried to get you amped up about like cellular service, you know, through satellite you know they did that whole thing where like i don't know what was it um it was eugene sweaty armpits and then elon they're having their little frat party up on the stage yeah starlink and spacex and and t-mobile teaming up 
And it was exciting and fun. Oh, James says we're still at Rel 15. We're not even close to 17. Oh, shit. Uh, Arf Wave says there will be interference. Probably. Um, hopefully they can work through it. I don't know. Maybe it's just AT&T kind of, you know, C blocking, you know. <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're, it, this isn't close to being commercial. This isn't close to scaling. You know, there's a lot of gear that's going to have to go up on these satellite constellations from SpaceX. It's it's cool concept, though. People tell me all the time that they don't have coverage from, you know, T-Mobile and the sticks. They're in the middle of the boonies. They're in Appalachia. And they don't have coverage. This would give it to them, you know. Yeah, so I, we're getting closer. We're closer than we've ever been, that's for sure. Just, you still got to continue to pump the brakes. Pump the brakes for the sake of expectations of when it launches and what you can actually do with it. Uh, let's actually wrap up this concept here with this story. AT&T and T-Mobile are in a heated race to space. Okay, so you may not realize it. Let me just go ahead and move me for a second. Get me out of the way. You guys may not realize it, but both T-Mobile and AT&T are pushing to be like the first company, you know, to offer this like connectivity through satellite. I think AT&T is a little bit further ahead than T-Mobile. Verizon actually is is doing their thing too. I, I'm not sure where their progress is. The last updates we had, uh, but they're all working towards this. But they all want to be first, and whoever's not first is still gonna say they're first. <laughs> So what's Dano got to say on this? Uh, says here, in the pursuit of coverage from space, the winner would potentially have a demonstrable competitive advantage. No more dead zones. Not clear which company might have emerged victorious. Each company's fortune is at the mercy of its satellite partner. For T-Mobile, it's Elon Musk and SpaceX. For AT&T, it's AST Space Mobile. I feel like AT&T is a little bit out ahead because Space Mobile, AST Space Mobile is a little out ahead. Apple sidestep plans to begin charging for its own emergency satellite messaging services through Global Star. Android, right? We just talked about that whole Qualcomm issue with Iridium. That was terrible. AT&T appears keen to prevent T-Mobile from getting any possible space-based advantage. They're blocking. We just discussed it earlier. Uh, they all want to be the leader. They all want... You know what the most important thing is, though? It has to be good. So... Like, what's the difference if one launches in January and one launches in February? Or what's the difference if one launches in August and the other in October? What the hell does it matter? And and the, the real question is, like, how many people are going to benefit from this? How many folks need this or want to sign up for this? Who's going to leave their current carrier because this feature is offered on the competitor? I don't know. I'm not really sure. Um, just something to think about, I guess. Launch costs, federal blessings. All right. Uh, SpaceX is urging the FC to approve. They want that process so they can start doing their testing. Uh, I think the FCC will grant that. I think that'll be fine. I don't know. I wonder how many people are willing to pay extra for this because it's going to cost, man. New technology. Right, you got to build to it. You got to retrofit a bunch of Leo satellites. It says here, AST Space Mobile burned through hundreds of millions of dollars since going public in 2021. It had just 135 million left in cash as of September 30th. SpaceX is considering an IPO for Starlink. Ooh, so that means they want to start trading. Okay. Would you guys invest in Starlink? Would you put your hard-earned ducats investing into Starlink? Counting down the days. It says here, officials at AST Space Mobile on track to launch its first five commercial satellites in the first quarter of next year. May we see AT&T launching early 2024? Indications are they might be the first one to do it. I mean, T-Mobile can push... If you want to, but it looks like AT&T and Space Mobile might be ahead. 
Anyways, I'm not switching carriers because of this. I'll be honest with you guys. While it's a good feature and stuff like that, I dig it. You know, I'm not changing carriers for it. Is anybody out there switching carriers for this benefit? I, I call it a benefit because it is, but I don't know, man. Is it that big of a deal for folks to have this? I have no idea. Rage and Dusty says, I need good fixed wireless access here. Not dog water, you cellular. <laughs> Maybe you need SpaceX, man. Starlink. Six Flags, St. Louis Enthusiast says, if you're not first, you're last. Ricky Bobby quote. Nice. South Joe agrees. He's not switching for it. You know what, Gene? There are satellite phones, but this is not for satellite phones. This is a fallback when you don't have regular cell service, like to cell towers. It's just a backup plan, right? Keep you connected. You'll be able to call, message, maybe some email or something. Real basic connectivity, right? <laughs> Someone who constantly explores the wilderness might. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's that. And like I said, the... There are some stretches of the U.S. where there isn't a cell tower for 20 miles. Carlos out west. He tells me there's a cell tower. You wouldn't see a cell tower for 50 miles to 100 miles, which is crazy to think. But the U.S. is vast. That's why when people tell me like cell coverage or cell service is better in Germany, and I'm just like, that's not impressive. Germany's small relative to the U.S. size, you know. We got topography, we got mountains, we got hills, we got open space, we got prairie, stretches of interstate. You won't even see a car for like two hours. <laughs> Can you imagine what it's like in Montana, Wyoming, Alaska, you know? EM Tech says, I still see carriers using this as an excuse to not contribute building the terrestrial footprint. I hope not, man. Nothing beats a terrestrial network. Satellite's cool when it's simple stuff. Again, I view it as a fallback. I do not see it and view it as a crutch. Um, I know that some of those locations, it's very difficult to build a site. And then the return on invested capital. How many people are going to connect to that daily? Could you imagine a cell tower that only has like 50 gigs of data going through it in a day? <laughs> Just because it's like way out there and like nobody lives out there. It's just a little bit of driving. Users that are transporting, you know. Yeah. We'll see how this plays out. AT&T or T-Mobile, who's going to be first? What? No love for Verizon? Isn't Verizon working on something with Amazon and, and was it Kuiper or whatever? I don't know. We'll see who wins. There are different ways that you can support the SMT. One of them, obviously, is to rate the video. That helps. You interact with the content, you know, comments and likes and shares and those things. Uh, but if you want to be more directly supportive of your content creators, the way that you do that is with supports like the buy me a coffee link. Uh, you can support us that way. There's also the other, you know, donation type supports. Really what I want to do is grow the communities within Patreon and the YouTube memberships, and, and more so the Patreon, because I can give you more through Patreon. So if you guys like what the YouTube channel does, and you like what it offers, you're looking for a bunch of things like early access videos and additional live streams. You want more of the SMT? That's how you could do it. So I recommend checking us out on Patreon. The link is in the description. But if you don't want to do that, then you can support us lots of other ways. In the description, you've got the coffee link. You've got other stuff. There's ways to support the channel.